It was domestic violence. Phil Tyler is the president of Against the Odds Ministries, a religious group that helps people recover from addiction and abuse. She was just a bright spot. She always had encouraging words. Tyler says Karina Woodhall brought hope to so many of his members, sharing her own life experiences to give them encouragement and hope. She used her story to help other people change, and she encouraged people. The Ramsey County Attorney's Office says Woodhall was murdered Tuesday night by her husband, Robert Castillo. According to the criminal complaint, Castillo told officers that he and Woodhall stopped living together about a month ago. When asked why, Castillo said he didn't want to talk about it. It's all about power and control. Joe Shannon with Violence Free Minnesota says leaving an abusive relationship is often the most dangerous time for a victim of domestic violence. We see this often in our homicides that um, the victim of the homicide was attempting to leave or was in the process of leaving. According to their records, Minnesota had 25 domestic violence related homicides in 2021. They're still compiling the numbers for 2022, but so far this year, they've counted at least seven. And Shannon says nearly half of these homicides happened when the victim was trying to leave the relationship. Because leaving the relationship is so dangerous, just telling them to leave is not the best option. They need the resources to do that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.